Hey guys, welcome to the reaction of Love is Blind episode 8 and 9 and guys, the whole Uche situation with Lydia is spilling over to the rest of the cast but let's get into this, let's get into this reaction. Now where we open up with the episode is with Uche and Lydia having a discussion which I don't understand why we're having at this point especially if they knew each other before filming love is blind but apparently you know we're doing this for the views we're doing this for the scenes so they had a talk and it wasn't really as successful because it ended up you know Lydia walking off um leaving the room and Uche trying to find someone else to give him validation about the whole situation so this gets into a whole ordeal where the whole cast is now involved into the whole situation with Uche, Alia, and Lydia. Now, we get an unexpected turn where Miriam jumps into the whole conversation with Uche about what went down in the women's pod in this whole situation. Now, we're getting conflicting um, ideas of what went down, if it happened, uh, what happened, what did not happen. But, you know, for some reason, when Miriam wanted to interject and give her two cents about the whole situation, Uche was not receptive to what she had to say because, you know, at first, you know, Miriam, she gave conflicting uh, information just about her storyline, her background. But, you know, I do think that she is very much allowed to give her insights to what happened in the women's pod, especially if you're asking everyone in the cast what happened on their side. So he was receptive to get what Stacy got from this situation. Even though the Stacy didn't have Uche's back, it just seemed like it was weird. Uche was more open-minded to what Stacy had to say as opposed to Miriam when, you know, everyone in the cast for this season, season five, are a bit cuckoo, a bit crazy. I feel like the only sane one I would have to argue is Milton. Now, I know everyone is not a fan of uh, this season, but I do think there's hope in this season. So let's continue on and see where we go. Now, as I mentioned, I felt like out of everyone in the cast, everyone at their age, I feel like the one who's most mature is actually the youngest member of this cast, and that is Milton. Milton's only 24, but for me, he has the most sense in comparison to everybody. He defends his partner, his queen Lydia, uh, to Uche, because he feels like he has, you know, no kind of, no, no stake in the situation or he has no sense of understanding that this is his problem. He feels that, you know, whatever what happened with Lydia and Uche is between with Lydia and Uche and that is past him, not his problem or his concern because he is experiencing Lydia through his own experiences and he doesn't need Uche to influence or kind of sway him in a certain way. He. Milton, what I respect is that he wants to go about this relationship on his own terms and he's not influenced. He's not a little boy. He doesn't need help. He doesn't need coaching. And that's why I respect Milton in these episodes. Now, while everyone is hanging out with the cast, we do see an argument between Chris and Izzy about Johnny. And I felt like, what is going on? I'm so over Johnny. Johnny is super toxic and she likes to play the victim role. And definitely Stacy is not here for it. Stacy is quick to shut Johnny down. Like if Johnny even dares blink at Stacy, Stacy is all over it. So I don't know why Izzy is invested into helping out Chris. This is all grown men, so they don't need assistance from others on how to handle the relationship. I mean if I was Chris's friend, I would tell him that Johnny is a little bit toxic and she has said some conflicting information. Do you really want to start a relationship under these terms? But you know, at the end of the day, he's a grown man and he's more than capable in making his own decisions, whether we agree with it or not. So I don't want to give it much breath, especially if we're on a show and we're trying to find love. I would think Izzy should focus more on his relationship with Stacy because I feel like they only bond really in these scenarios when it's them against Johnny and I think that they should just focus on their own relationship and of course this takes a whole turn because Stacy sees that too as well. Stacy feels that you know Izzy is more passionate, more invested into her when he sees her kind of go up against Johnny and she doesn't want to be in that kind of light. She wants to be having all this passion she wants to experience 
this side of Izzy for other things aside from, you know, her defending against Johnny. Okay, and I, I actually do agree, but you know, Stacy sometimes she doesn't know when to stop, honey. I feel like she beat a dead horse, made this man cry, and I think uh, Stacy has to really learn how to be more in touch with her sensitive, vulnerable side and to be more compassionate towards Izzy. Because you can tell that Izzy, even though he puts a strong face, he is quite sensitive and he needs some sort of support. I think that's what, you know, Izzy liked about Johnny, that Johnny was able to be vulnerable. Uh, so I think that is like the missing aspect when it comes to Izzy and Stacy's relationship. So they have some things to work on, but honey, it ends into a whole situation, a whole dis discussion. And I, I felt a little bit secondhand embarrassment. I felt like at that point we could have put the cameras down because I didn't want to see them continue with that fight. I think it takes a day or so and they make up. Um, Izzy, he surprises um, Stacy at her job. She's like an operational manager at a Pilates studio. So he surprised her at her job, brings her gifts, and they kind of made a joke about it. He brought up the plunger, which was symbolic of what happened at the at their honeymoon. So I was happy that they were able to make up and move forward. But to me, I feel like this is going to be a fight that repeats over and over again. I feel like they're going to get into that same fight over and over because they're new and I don't know if they resolve just for the cameras or they're really resolving because they're ready to resolve because I didn't feel the confidence in them moving forward from that situation. Now, of course, most importantly, we have Stacy meeting Izzy's mom, okay? But first, you know, Izzy has a sit down with his mother and his mom is actually so sweet. She's a mom. She wants to protect her son. So she asks him, are you sure? Do you have the confidence that this will be a lasting a marriage? Because in her culture and her background, they don't believe in divorce. They believe in, you know, you stay with your partner to the end. Even though that was a scenario for her, she does promote this to her son. And her son, you know, he's been engaged before. Izzy has been engaged before. So she is wondering if he's really sure about moving forward with Stacy. Now, when Stacy meets Izzy's mom, she's sweet, but she now she shows a little bit caution and asks Stacy her intentions into this whole experiment because this is you know unusual for her, understandably so. And so Stacy, she doesn't sugarcoat. That's the one thing I respect about Stacy. Stacy, she she doesn't sugarcoat. She is very honest and gives a very mature response where she doesn't do false promises false hopes but she ensures to izzy's mom that she does care for her son and i like this conversation i believe in this conversation so i was so happy with the progress they made in this because usually when people go on this show one of the hardest hurdles that they face is how the family receive you know this whole situation who's gonna be there who's gonna show up and you know, ultimately we learned that the only person who's gonna show up on the behalf of Izzy in the marriage, in the wedding, is Izzy's mom. And he doesn't mind that. It is kind of sad he doesn't mind that, but he does appreciate the family he is gaining through Stacey. I think that's the one biggest selling factor with Stacey. That Stacey comes with such a loving family and he wants that. He you see that he craves that. So I think that's a plus and bonus which is why I have hopes with this couple moving forward, you know. I know a lot of guys, uh, you guys have been saying that this season is trash, but I do see, okay, a possibility that these couples can work out if they want to work it out. Now, honey, oh my God, Lydia meeting Milton slash James' mom, family? Oh my God, I don't know what was harder, Milton's sister or Milton's mom, because it was not easy for Lydia. The family is super protective over Milton, as they should. Uh, first, they question, you know, the age gap between uh, Lydia and Milton. Lydia is 30, Milton is only 24. Um, but I think they should know their son. Their son is quite mature for his age. He's an engineer, very successful in his career, and he has grown up quite quickly. Um, however, you know, Milton's mom made it very clear that she's going to do a background check on Lydia to make sure she's not cuckoo, she's not crazy, which I understand. For this situation, being an experiment is, is expected. At least one of the families will have reservation about this whole situation. So, 
and the whole questioning of Lydia and this relationship and them getting married Lydia just knew what to say she to me that's what scares me about her a little bit she just has the perfect answer all the time and it's as if like she had it prepared like it's it's ready to go now this doesn't bother Milton and Milton is very supportive of Lydia he's very sure in his own decision making process it's just that what we see with Milton are reoccurring is that other people around him questioning his decision making process but I think Milton is quite smart you know he's very smart very analytical so I feel like he really thought out this through and through and if he feels like he's ready to get married to Lydia then he should be allowed to make this decision he's grown um so ultimately what hurdles that they will face as a couple is really what the sister thinks and how the mom feels the sister is kind of shocked and dumbfounded how Milton is so ready to go forward with a wedding go forward with a marriage so what she really questions is that their what their parenting styles are like how they communicate how are they really gonna work um Lydia she's nothing more than assuring to give compliments about Milton the one thing her biggest complaint which seems to be quite small and what they can work on is pretty much Milton's cleanliness now Milton he'll eat something a plate and he'll leave that plate on that same table for three days straight and not blink an eye and that bothers Lydia and which would bother anyone too as well understandably so but I feel like this is something that they can work on he can grow out of that habit and you know fix that I feel like if that's their biggest issue then I don't think they should be so concerned it's just to me they already overcome the hurdle with Uche trying to influence Milton trying to influence Lydia's situation they overcome that hurdle and I really respected Milton how he handled that situation they already overcome the age gap differences they're able to communicate now they do run into an issue again because Milton took Lydia out to the most romantic date ever Lydia is a geologist so he takes her out to this museum of rocks for a dinner and it's just a beautiful date and I did not want them to argue. I felt like, no, Lydia, do not self-sabotage. This is a good man. <laughs> this is a good man and I felt like she was sabotaging this whole day because they were fighting about something so frivolous that I felt like did not need it the time, especially in, during this date. This date had just, I just wanted her to enjoy this moment. So I hate that we saw them had that moment during their last date. But I feel like they could work. I feel like they could work because Milton really loves and he cares for Lydia. I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. I do think out of all the couples, I feel like they're the strongest connection generally. Because even though they fight, what I do like, at, at that same breath, they will make up. They don't let a day go by with this issue lingering. So that's what I can respect from them. That's for sure. Now, the couple did shop for the wedding both the couples shop for the wedding um i thought it was a beautiful scene they got emotional when they found their dress they both look very beautiful and i thought it was a nice moment it's kind of sad though that in this season we only have two couples that we have to wait whether or not to see if they will go through with their wedding or not because um i did see that there was some situation going on with love is blind where they're going through a lawsuit where a, pre a contestant that was for the season um, accused a castmate of uh, harass sexual harassment, I say. So they are under investigations for that, so we don't get to see that couple and how they progress. But there was reportedly more couples who were supposed to get go down the aisle. But we have these two couples to look forward to, and I do think they'll both be a yes. Now, oh my gosh. I was not expecting that moment where you could tell something was wrong with Stacy and Izzy. <sighs> Stacy has finally found out about Izzy's financials and to me, I feel like they could work on this. You know, if he's telling Stacy the whole picture, the whole truth, nothing but the truth and not, you know, holding things back. But I understand where Stacy's coming from because she is kind of caught off guard. So Stacy learns that, you know, Izzy does not have a credit card because he has bad credit and he has debt. He had a previous debt that was an issue in the past. Now, Stacey's concern is that, you know, she comes from money and she doesn't want to have to rely on her father to get through her relationship with Izzy. So, 
Well, she's asking if Izzy, that, you know, he probably communicates with her the whole truth about the whole scenario, especially if they're planning a future with each other, which is understandable. And it seemed like Izzy was being honest, but you kind of see him, you know, going around the topic a little bit. And my concern is when Stacy watched this over, uh, what we I remember is that, you know, Izzy did open up to Johnny about his financials because we have a situation when Johnny, when she was not picked, she was quick to tell the other ladies how, oh, Johnny has, um, how Izzy has bad credit, oh, his apartment, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, wow, she's really, you know, talking down on Izzy even though she wanted to be with Izzy. But the thing that was shocking is that Izzy was open and honest to Johnny because, you know, Johnny, she's she's a girl that she, you feel comfortable to be vulnerable with because, you know, she likes to talk about problems, so you feel comfortable sharing your problems, too, with her. So I thought, Ugh, that's a yikes. And I wonder what will go on for Stacey, how she will feel about that situation, that Izzy was comfortable and open to Johnny about that moment. So guys, I wanna know what your thoughts are. Do you think both couples will go through with this wedding or not? You know the commercials were commercial, were showing, you know, possibilities that someone may not go through with it or not, but I think they both will go through with it. I think Lydia loves love. She wants to have love and go and be married. I feel like Milton, if his gut feeling is that this is okay, he will go for it, regardless to what other people say. Izzy and Stacy, I feel like they have their ups and downs, but at the end of the day, Izzy doesn't mind the ups and downs. He wants to make it work with a partner. He just has to feel that the partner sees his worth. And if Stacy can see his worth, they will get through it for sure. So I think both couples gonna at least go through with the wedding now. Will the marriage last? I'm not a psychic, I don't know. But I wanna know what you guys think. If you got this far in the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, share as much kindness as possible. Bye guys.